let's uh let's ex I'm gonna explain the front page first, the HTML. So first of all, we have a section, and section is a HTML5 tag that can be used anytime. It's just defining the section. And then we have a div class called Flex Slider, and this will be used for styling in this CSS and this CSS. Let's go back. Then we have another UL called slides. Once again, this will be used for styling. And now we have some PHP tag here. So first of all, we have the opening PHP tag. That's not that confusing. Then we have a query post. And just like in our other page templates, if you remember in my previous tutorials, we used this function as well. What this does is it queries the post from our WordPress database. And depending on the array that we gave it, it'll it'll query the post with these conditions. So in this array, an array is basically um, values stored inside it. So posts per page, we want three. And then this comp here separates the two values. And then we're saying we want the category name called featured only. So we're saying we only want three posts in this slider and we want the posts to come from featured and then we have a regular blog loop this is saying if there is posts then uh while while there is posts then display the post so for every post that i have we're going to use this html so once again the first thing we're going to use an li called featured post we're using an li because it's going to be multiple of this post and then underneath here, which in the post thumbnail of the post, the featured image of the post, and we use slider image. Now I believe that's a pretty good size. And then we have our caption. The caption is this black box here that we have. And yeah, and the button. So we have a caption. And then we have our slider title. As you can see the slider title. And then we have the excerpt right here and we have the read more button that has a interrupt in the permalink and one thing I forgot to do here let's copy this let's put it here as well I'll edit this in the code so you probably don't need to do it and yeah that's one thing we need to change and that's the caption div so then here at the very end we end our while which is this while loop we end our if right here and we'll reset the query right here so that it goes back back again and it will que query it again so that's basically the html i hope you guys understand this and yeah let's take a look at the styles now let's go over to the bottom okay let's start with the featured poster let's go into our front page here we have an ally called featured post, the class of featured post. And we're saying position relative. Now, why do we need that? Because the elements inside featured post, in this case, the caption, uh, the button, all of these, all of these classes, they're going to be position absolute. So we don't want those elements to be out of the caption box. So we set the box to relative to keep the elements inside. Now, Z index one. So this will be, this will probably, uh, featured post. So this will probably be the bottom, near, near the bottom. And then I give it a font family of open terms. Now, if you're not following this series, you can change the font because you probably don't have it installed, but yeah. And then we move on to the caption. So once again, as I said, we did position absolute. And I gave it some border radiuses to make it look a bit better, which is the outsides here you can remove that if you don't like it but i like it and now we have top 50 pixels right 50 pixels now i'll explain what this is <clears throat> so let's say we don't have the top i'll show what happens it disappears now why is this now if i get rid of the right And we'll save it. And now it sticks to the left. 
okay so basically when you go left 15 pixels then it'll stick to the left with some margin at the end you can see right here and if we go bottom in the pixels then this bottom part it'll stick to the bottom with 15 pixels margin like so and if we got rid of this top 15 pixels and saved it that it'll stop sticking from the top and it go down so that's how you can change the position of the caption let's say you want to stick it to the right it's very easy let's get rid of this left and let's just go right 15 pixels there we go but how can we change the width I'll show you later let's just change everything back okay now but in the later elements there's gonna be a width styling so I'll change show you how to change that and anyway, let's continue so we have some padding which is the outside padding here so the elements when stick to the edges and we have a color of white here we go the width of 90 percent so if we go 80 percent the width will obviously change down so if you guys don't want it to be too um too wide you can change your settings how you like but 90 is good percentage and then a background of black and we have an opacity of 0 0.7 so you can see it's kind of transparent which is what we like and then the font size of 15, 17 pixels, so just this here. And a Z index of 2. So what that means is that this, this caption is going to be above the featured post because they have, um, it has a high number. 2, 1. And now a featured post caption P. It's taking the excerpt and putting some padding there. As you can see. Then for the slider title, as you can see here, saying I want to have a font size of 22 pixels, font weight of 600. It takes decoration none, so that there's no underline display block, so it'll go all the way through. Margin bottom 10 pixels, and a font family of Oswald, which is the font we installed. And the next one, this is basically saying if an anchor tag is visited, then change the color to white. Then the button. Text align center, that's self explanatory. Text decoration none, no underline. Background, this is an orange color. Position absolute. Once again, we do this so that we can change the location inside the caption box. Bottom 10 pixels, so this is the same styling as the caption box. Right, and padding 10 pixels for some uh, space around the words. Now for the responsive part. So I'll put website. See if it's responsive. As you can see, it's kind of responsive. The slider fits the width. We'll go down. See that it changes the font a bit smaller, and then it disappears. So it's responsive. Now it's when your screen is this small, it's not really necessary for you to read the whole excerpt. So we just got rid of it, and you can just click read more to to continue reading the post. So that's it's responsive. Now explain what's happening here. So, so at the start, it's using once again media queries, and it's saying when the width is 767 pixels, go to get the get the caption box and make the width a little bit bigger, five pick five percent bigger, and the opacity turn it up by one upper a little bit. Then here it's saying the featured post um paragraph make the font size size a bit smaller. And the button, make the padding a bit less. And then this one here, when the width is 650 pixels, then just totally get rid of the excerpt. Now keep in mind that these are just my stylings, or yeah, or this is just what the stylings are, and you guys can change it however you like. Now credit to Awful Media for producing, not really, I think I used some of his stylings here and I kind of changed it up a little bit. So you can subscribe to him. But this is how I do it. 
and yeah, so that's the slider done. And I believe this is a bit better than the WordPress plugin that we previously used, as when people download this theme, they can easily use it straight away, and it's on their site without any plugin installation. Installation. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.